Senate office building in the hearing room where in years previous we have held the National Memorial for the Preborn and their mothers and fathers, which is now going on at this hour on the ninth floor of this building, a few floors up, and that only after a struggle, and you're already aware of what that's about. We were told that this room was occupied. Sorry, you can't have this room. Pro-lifers can't have this room today because it's being used. I don't know who it's being used by. Maybe there's a fly buzzing around in here, but I haven't seen it yet. And there doesn't seem to be another breathing soul. Empty chairs, empty tables, empty audience space. Let's go on and see if any of the other two rooms that we were told were occupied, were being used, and were unavailable for pro-lifers to use. Let's see what's going on in those rooms. Oh, by the way, just in case anyone challenges it, we'll give you a picture of what time it is, according to Verizon Wireless Blackberry. There's the time. Folks, let me just uh, point out again what time it is according to the clock here in the Hart Committee Room, room 216, we said, day, room 216, we were told was occupied and unavailable to pro-lifers, and at 9.25, while the service is underway upstairs, empty room. As you can see, no one is using this room. Now let's go on and see about the other two rooms we were told were full. All right, folks, here we are now in the Dirksen Senate building, the second building that we're visiting today. We started out in the Hart building where we were told that the main hearing room there was unavailable because it was occupied. We found that to be empty. Now, during the same hours, only five minutes later, it's 9.30, and the National Memorial for the Preborn is still underway. And here we are in G50, the other room that we generally use. And as you can see, it is unoccupied. So here we have another empty room, G50, which we were told was occupied during this hour. Now let's go on to the third room that we use, the Russell Caucus Room, and let's see what we find there. Well, I'll be. Here we are in the last of the three rooms we were told by the Senate Rules Committee under Chairwoman Senator Dianne Feinstein were occupied, sorry, filled up, used, spoken for, therefore inaccessible to pro-lifers for our annual National Memorial for the Preborn. Well, you can see I'm a little out of breath. We ran over here to be sure that we're within the window of time. And here's the clock. It's now 9.39. The memorial is underway, and look at the U.S. Senate caucus room in the Russell Building, where in year, years previous we have held the National Memorial, and I think you see what I see. It is empty as a tomb. Hello? 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 Is there anyone hiding behind the pillars? Empty room again. We could have been here. We could have been in G50. We could have been in Hart, the Hart committee room. All three, we were told, spoken for, sorry, used up, doors locked, people inside. Well, where are the people? <laughs> 